coming in. SEBI files rejoined uh, in Supreme Court seeking extension of time for investigation into the Adani Hindenburg case. SEBI demanded a three-month extension to probe into allegations of stock price manipulation by the Adani Group and lapses in the regulatory discourse. The top court had earlier refused to give SEBI a six-month extension to probe the matter. All right, so that is, of course, a significant development that's coming in. Um, remember, in the context of the investigation into the MPS norm, SEBI has already approached 11 overseas regulators under the MMOU with international organizations of security commis commissions. Now, various requests for information were made to these regulators. Um, just talking about the latest development, of course, the top court had earlier refused to give SEBI a six-month extension to probe the matter. So SEBI files a rejoinder in the Supreme Court. It seeks an extension of time for investigation into the Adani Hindenburg case. Um, the SEBI demanded a three-month extension probe um, to the allegations of the stock price manipulation by the Adani group and lapses in regulatory discourse. Um, in fact, talking about the previous developments that had happened, the investigation done earlier by the SEBI pertains to the issuance of global depository receipts, better known as the GDRs, by 51 Indian listed companies in respect of which investigation was conducted. However, no listed company for Dani Group was part of the aforesaid 51 companies. All right, we'll keep a close on that story, but we're shifting our focus.